Okay, hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Anime-chan. Today I saw on Twitter, um, when I went online, a bunch of people retweeting and talking about the Attack on Titan final season trailer. Obviously I immediately went off Twitter because I didn't want to see anything or hear anything. Um, and that's why I decided to, as soon as possible, sit down and watch it. And um, obviously I'd love to share my first reaction with you guys but um there's a little bit of hmm, a lot of drama recently with uh, reaction channels and the like and i just want to make sure that you know that the focus on the of this video is obviously my reaction as with all my other videos um my reaction my thoughts so what i'm going to do is I'm going to pause like every couple of seconds. I'm sure that this is Attack on Titan. Every single frame will be important. Every single, everything. So I'm gonna be pausing like every five or six seconds. And I'm gonna try and process what I, even even if it's something small, I'm gonna try and process everything. I'm gonna try and give my thoughts as I go along, whatever. Okay, I'm rambling, but I just wanted to make sure that you know that that's how this, this is, that's what this video is gonna be. Um, yeah, I'm sure for those of you that know my channel, uh, you guys know that I talk a lot, so the focus is always, um, you're here to hear my thoughts, I'm here to hear your thoughts, unless you're a manga reader, please don't comment, um, spoilery or hinty comments, like, I, I really don't like that, um, don't tell me, oh, that's important, oh, that's important, I don't want to hear that. Like I want to I want to notice things. If I think something might be important, I'm going to say, "Oh, that might be important." Maybe I'm going to miss something, and that's fine because when I watch the show and things happen like and then I'm like, "Oh my god, I completely missed that." That's part of the fun. So, please only share comments if like you're also an anime only person. If yes. Let's just try and keep the comments on the trailer and don't spoil. That's, I guess, okay. Oh my God, I have. I, don't, I feel like I haven't watched Attack on, or talked about Attack on Titan in so long, so I'm feeling really, like, weird. Um, and, but, but oddly excited. <laughs> oddly excited? No, I don't think the oddly needs to be there. I'm excited. I'm just going to keep my hand here on the play pause button so that I can just process as I go along. Okay. Okay, so it opens with wind sounds that kind of it's it's already I don't know, it's just because I'm such a big attack on side fan, but I'm already like getting kind of like goosebumps. And it, it gives me a perspective and birds, immediately the concept of freedom, because birds can fly and this, that's about freedom. That's immediately an important, the, uh, something that's always been important in Attack on Titan. So definitely a relevant opening scene. Whew, I'm too excited. So stop it. I'll stop. Koko <laughs> Abune means watch out or that's or it's dangerous or something. I have no idea who this character is. Um, when it was zoomed in on them, it, it looked like their head was a little bit oddly shaped. I thought maybe they're a titan because, you know, titans are oddly shaped, but clearly not a titan. No idea who the character is, though. No idea what that means. There's no captions, right? Are the captions in English? Oh, there are captions. I need to rewatch. Wait. It's dangerous here. Oh, he's telling the bird that. Okay. Go fly. Far away. Very ominous start. 
Not sure where where this is, but it looks like outside the walls. Is this? But it looks. I'm not used to this barren wasteland. This is not where. And that looks so. Ah. Oh. Talk. Map. Okay, before we get into that, I'm just gonna quickly gonna take a look at Ma uh, Mappa. I have obviously heard of them. Um, before we take a look at the rest, yeah, I know you guys are you are probably irritated already with me. You want to just get a look, get on with it. I'm analyzing as I go. It's called fair use. <laughs> um, Mappa. Okay, so they've done. Let's see. Let's see, okay, Doro He Doro, I haven't watched that, but I'm planning to, let's see, things that I have watched, things that I have watched, Dororo, which is one of my all-time favorites, loved Dororo, one of the only, the very few anime to ever make me cry, so I'm already excited just seeing that, Kakagurui, I've watched, thought the visuals were amazing, let's see, oh, Ushu and Tora season two, like, one of uh, close to a 10 out of 10 anime they did that really well so that's all though oh they did season one too but that was 2015 it was also very good um wow okay they haven't done like a lot but what they have done they've done really well banana fish i know a lot about well i don't know a lot about it but i just know a lot of people love it um, I haven't seen season two of Kakiguri. Um, okay, yeah, that's everything. Now let's 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 see actually what happens. Clearly, war, war, waste, war and wasteland. Those are the two words that are just. Oh wait, this is probably. This is prob is that this is probably from their side. What did she say? Whoever destroys the machine gun will become the next warrior. These are familiar characters. They're characters we know, right? This is probably this is um giant titan dude. I forget his name. And this is a new character. I don't recognize this character. The armored titan will be one of us. That was... We know who that is. Uh, oh my god, I haven't watched Attack on Titan in such a long time that I keep... I've forgotten all the freaking names of the characters. I only remember the main characters. Levi, Eren, Mi, Mika... Mi, and I also, I keep saying Mi, Misaka and Mikasa. I confuse those two's names because I've been watching a lot of um, Toaru. What's his name? Gi giant Titan guy, blonde Titan girl, female Titan Annie. Her name's Annie, and this is and and that white guy was the guy with the uh, split personality. Not split personality, but um, he definitely had a. Uh, he didn't even realize like who he was. Often like it. What's his name again? I don't know, but anyway. That was Beast Titan guy. Weird face. Weird face. What shall he be known as? Um Mask Titan Lion faced guy? Lion mane here? Oh that was that thing was creepy. I remember that from the lost season. A new world. Who was that? Oh, I remember this guy in that lost season. So creepy. Um, whoa, whoa, lots of war. Like, I mean, Attack on Titan has always been about war like that but this is like war as we know it you know it's except with giant titans but like this looks is very reminiscent of um like 
world wars. Well, I guess not just world wars, but I mean wars in our world. Does that make sense? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Mm, that's what I wanted to see. Who is that? People jumping out. So fast! I want to see! I want to see! Okay. I... You know what this makes me think of? Like... You know when people were being like shipped off to concentration camps and stuff and they were all um, in being put in trains and stuff and as they got out of the trains they had to give like people families were split up but I mean definitely that's not what's happening here um, but it just it me that's what I thought of lots of characters is this whole season gonna be based on like a different time almost things that maybe led to where is this Aaron you want to save the world that makes me feel like so many people um, especially I might be wrong here uh, in the way that I'm saying this but like a lot of and on one side a freedom fighter could be just a terrorist like depending on which side you're from depending on kind of like your pers your perspective obviously and um, your role and that makes me think about you know how wars and stuff the little people they're being the people on the ground the people fighting the wars they're they're just being fed a certain perspective they do feel wrong they do but the people the higher ups they're the ones at war with each other and using these people and oftentimes that gives birth to these like we need to you know the freedom fighters and stuff that end up becoming terrorists or whatever since they end up going about things in a way that eventually leads to, you know, like a, a rebellion or something, like throwing the whole state over. And then eventually it leads to things being reformed, but it can also lead to a lot of chaos and pain and, and blah, 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 and a lot of wrong. Like it can, ugh. Anyway. Why can't you let me die? Okay, this was from... The story is reborn from the appearance of the founder Emir to the present day. What kind of titans are we gonna get now? It's like, we've gotten used... Like, titans are already weird looking. And now there's one with like a white face mask, lion mane, and, and, and this, like what, what? The Titan? The Titan have taken many lives. The Titans have taken many lives. But in recent years, the peace has been taken away. The Titans have taken many lives, but in recent years, that that peace has been taken away. That doesn't really make sense to me, but I'm seeing more familiar faces now. Who's the, ah ah? Who's the, this? This is this is Jean and Connie. Why do I feel like this is Misa Mi Misaka? Mikasa? Mikasa, sorry, Mikasa because Misaka Mikoto Mikasa Ackerman. This is Mik is this Mikasa? I don't know. The, the the style of the anime has changed a lot from you know how it started to and then there were a lot of changes in the most recent season where the females were made to look like less pretty. 
and more like their lip color were, had to be the same color as their face, even though even my lip color is different from my normal skin's color. But anyway, lots of there were lots of art changes, and now it's a new studio, so there's going to be even more art changes. And I'm not sure if this, but it kind of looks like the truth is questioned because so that says the truth is questioned because someone stole the founding titan inside the island of Paradi. Oh my shit. We're gonna get a lot more info from the other side. And I and I get that I've always known that was coming because of how manga readers used to argue with me when I saw like remember the whole reveal. What was his name? Reiner and Berthold. Thank goodness. I finally their names. Reiner and Berthold are not normal names, so don't judge me for not immediately remembering. Um, a lot of people like when I was when I saw them being revealed and immediately that you're emotional because you know um, You know what they did and, and what their actions resulted in like all those people dying at the start blah 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 blah. And so obviously I was mad the first time that they revealed and everything and oh my god how the manga readers spoiled in the comments about well just wait until you see and this and this and this and I wish they had just, you know, let, waited and let the anime reveal the rest of the story to me at the when the, t the, the author chose to do that. Like, you're meant to maybe feel a certain way and then later find out other things. And yet, the, you know, manga readers didn't give me the chance to even do that. So I got really frustrated for a while with Attack on Titan's fandom, like the manga readers specifically. And I had to take a break from it for a while. Um, but I'm very much looking, I'm very much excited again about it after taking a little bit of break of a break from the, from the fandom and, um, the show in general. Um, and I'm very excited to see the other side and it, it, to be honest, you know, war at the end of the day, it's just senseless and, and it, it's just that it, it always ends up being, it gets to a point where there's, there feels like there's no way to make this right anymore and you can only fight injustice with injustice and, and then, Everyone, almost everyone dies, and the whole everything just needs to be reformed from scratch. Okay. And that is, it's senseless, and it it's just if we if we could only stop things much sooner. Before the problem becomes this, if we could stop like the things that cause war earlier, before it becomes fucking war. That, that would solve the, everyone's problems, right? But the problem is we let it get too bad. We let it go too far before we take a stand, before we start making changes, before we start seeing that changes are needed and stuff. So anyway. Okay, but now this is obviously a speech. It seems to be a speech by Aaron's brother, right? Um, his father's other son. It's, so this is a speech on happening on the other side or somewhere else about what's going on there stole the founding titan stole hmm. see that's coming across like is that really how it happened though you know <laughs> Damn, Erin grew up. I've always loved loved Erin. Um, and I remember there was one time where I disagreed with how he handled the situation, and I was like, "Oh my god, wait for." Before you grieve losing your friend, just wait until later. Right now, you have to da 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 da. And I just, I was obviously in the moment and my, um, and how I feel. I just express how I feel because what do I do? I do reactions, I do reviews. I'm here to tell you how scenes make me feel and then I'm here to think about them. Um, and people got really offended. Even though I'm like a, I'm a huge Aaron fan, I've always been a huge Aaron fan. You can watch all my reactions, they're all on YouTube still, thank God. They're not blocked, they just get claimed, which I feel is, is fair. Like, Obviously, claim the videos, take the money um, that, that I earned from them or whatever. Um, that's fair. But 
what was I saying? Talking about it is important. Well, the thing is, people didn't express how, like, they felt like, oh, when Aaron did that, I understood because. Like, people were so mad at me back then because, like, how dare you judge Aaron? How dare you expect him to, like, he's just da 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 da. And I was like, okay. I actually really love Aaron. I just didn't, I, I thought it, there would be a different, I would, huh, this is what I think. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm an Aaron hater now. Oh, oh, okay. Like people are get, people can get really heated with these things and that's fine. Like I've, um, the bigger the channel has grown, the more I've learned how to deal with it. I think I'm trying still. Um, but I've always loved Aaron. That's basically what I want to say. So, Oof, it's gonna it's gonna be hard to see how I don't I don't see, I've never seen a happy ending for the show or for these characters so it's gonna be amazing to see what he's become because clearly there's a fucking time jump Shonen often has time jumps though but I don't know I'll, we'll see what happens um I'm really excited to see how much he's grown not just physically but as a person and who what kind of person he's become as a result of everything that he's been through and whether I'm not always gonna if, even if I love a character, I'm not always going to agree with their actions. And I'm looking forward to seeing the decisions that he does make and what he does. And I'm looking forward to talking about it all. So excited. So many freaking... Too much. Too many scenes. Too many scenes. Okay, that's the Colossal Titan walking. Um, this is... Oh, whoa, whoa. This is going to be amazing, guys. I can't imagine how... I'm going to be... I'm going to be flipping tables i'm gonna need i'm gonna need things that i can throw like i'm gonna get pillows and and get a boxing bag or something in the room because otherwise i'm gonna i'm gonna really break things it's fine no i won't i can i can control myself i can't even control myself in a freaking reaction i mean a freaking trailer reaction like i'm already so excited how what i can't even, okay Okay, this, this, this looks bad. No idea who this is. No idea what that is. Oh, she's still, of course. Who's this? Oh, is that? Oh, who? Ar Armin? Is that? Oh. Who was that? What kind of? Who was that? So much going on. This, this looks like Annie and ba Bertolt and Reiner. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Um, they're not here to watch the trailer. Everyone's already seen the trailer. Um, now we're just... I'm not sorry. This is... This, this, I don't know who... Okay, that's something exploding. Something falling in water. Who was that? Fight, and now I proclaim. I proclaim to the enemy forces of Paradi a declaration of war. War is shit, guys. War is absolute shit. War should be avoided at every and any any and every cost <sighs> war is the worst 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 thing ever 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 like it's because the thing is it's because like of it's the how do i say the domino effect like it's not just it like hurts so and oh i really want to google something what is the chaos theory if chaos theory meaning the branch of mathematics that deals with complex systems whose behavior is highly sensitive to a slight changes in conditions so that small alterations can give rise to strikingly great consequences chaos theory is a branch um apparently random states of disorder and irregularities are often governed by deterministic laws that are highly sensitive to in initial conditions mm. This is what comes to mind when I think about like every single action that we take. Like it can 
takes so many different paths and that's why it's so important like for people to be self-aware so that every action that we take I really think should be taken I wouldn't say everything we do should be to stop war because then the focus is still on and stop you know because discord is still important disagreeing is normal but there should always be proper ways to do so and war is the result of it getting so far off and so bad that you can't even talk about it anymore now you have to freaking you know and i just feel like that's why self-awareness is so important and every decision and everything that we do in life should should be made not to prevent war and prevent fighting and prevent any negativity it should just be to promote as far as possible peace and fairness and prosperity and and like i don't know values and ugh, but the problem is like if people are so different can we really prevent war and stuff is it always gonna is it always gonna end up like that i don't know um, when is this coming out? When, 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 when? Wait, where's the date? Attack on Titan final season. The last attack begins. The final season will be broadcast on the NHK. I don't know what the, what's the NHK. Hopefully it'll be on Crunchyroll so I can watch it. On the other side of the sea, Aaron thought he would win. He would. Should I read that? But beyond the waves is actually revealed the battlefield between the armies of Mar and Eldia. Eldian warriors rallied to their oppressors, must prove themselves there to find to prove themselves worthy of inheriting the powers of the primordial titans. Um, where's the date? When is it coming out? The final season. They no longer mention a full premiere. Subtitles are available. I'm not exactly sure when. When? Not yet released. Does anyone know exactly when this is coming out? I don't know when it's coming out, but I'm excited. I'm excited for the story, for the characters. It's one of my favorite shows. It has dropped considerably on my favorites list. But that was mostly because of um, how, I don't know, obsessive the fandom is. Not obsessive, but like the manga readers, they're just like, I want to watch the show, express my feelings, and then think about my feelings, and then talk about my feelings. Like, and it's all my feelings, my opinions. And what the problem with manga readers was that they want you to be up to date and then already like you should immediately feel a certain way and immediately take into consideration stuff that you haven't seen or read yet in the manga that they have and like it just became so un unenjoyable to to watch publicly and i just had to like i remember turning comments off for a while so that i could just yeah, i can share my reactions and we can talk about it i did do streams we talked about it in streams and stuff with a, a smaller amount of people but um I didn't want to immediately have like my first experience judged and and have hints and spoiled and ugh. um so yeah i'm not sure how i'm going to be approaching the season i'm not sure how they're gonna fit everything in i heard so much that there's so much left that they don't think it's gonna be able to fit into one season but um what is this prequel Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2 and prequel Attack on Titan Chronicle. A movie? What? Is this is a prequel? Is this is this canon and should we watch this? When is this coming out? Oh, movie and compiling the events of Attack on Titan Season 1, 2, 3. Oh, that I want to watch. That's cool. Because I actually want to rewatch everything so that I can... Because there's a lot of details and stuff that I think I've forgotten. Um... So yeah, I would I would love to watch that and, and just recap everything. Hmm, well, I have high expectations. Um, I'm sure they'll do a good job of, of finishing up the story. I hope. And anime is, at the end of the day, uh, an, ad an advertisement kind of for the manga. 
um, I've come to realize that more and more. The manga is the original. The anime isn't meant to... Like, it's, me it's meant to bring the story to life, but it's not meant to outdo the story or adapt it perfectly because there's no such thing as a perfect adaption. And I really do think that the anime should encourage us to read, to buy and read the manga. Um, and although everyone isn't into reading, I get that, but then you should be happy at least with a, a well-summarized story if there are, like, yeah. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, and a Attack on Titan has always been that. It's, it's... It, it, I've never felt that I needed to read the manga with Attack on Titan, but I've always wanted to. Um, but this final season, if it, if it really is adapting too much, then I would be more than happy to with, a, with a, good, a good summary of what is left in the story, and then I'll go read the manga myself. Um, I'd love to do that. So, Okay, um, I apologize for all the pausing. I know it pissed off a lot of people, probably. Um, but I'm going to now watch the whole thing through again on my own and um write down some thoughts and we can talk about it in a live stream maybe i'm, I'm streaming over the weekend you can uh follow me on twitch the link will be in my description and then i'll probably talk about it more with my patrons with those of you that choose to pop in and say hi on twitch um but yeah this was just my first viewing play scene by scene reaction um, some thoughts, yeah, some of my thoughts are probably a little bit d disparate, like, I'm not, that's why I write notes for a lot of things, like, if you watch my One Piece videos, you'll know I have, like, lots of notes, and I do, like, three-hour discussion videos, because it is so hard to summarize your thoughts, especially when you see something for the first time, like, right now, because then you're still, mostly, it's an emotional response, it is, you haven't, process the information yet so that's why I like um I like doing reactions but then I like to share my first thoughts and then I like to review and then I like to discuss like that's the kind of person that I am so I'm sure that this what what would be awesome is if um I we watch the episode I watch the episode when it's coming out like if I could watch the episode edit a highlights video for you guys and then afterwards um we'll do like uh, I used to do weekly streams it was called anime costs and then we talked about that the episodes of that week like seasonal shows so we could do something like that and and include a um, attack on titan discussion <sighs> probably we could do an hour long discussion of uh, of each episode every week um or longer i don't know if we really want to unpack things it could be longer than an hour but i'll see when the time comes how i'm going to go about things including, you know, first impressions, then reviews, then discussions, and so on, so on, so um, But I hope that a lot of you will be there to enjoy the story with me and unpack it. And, um, and please don't hint anything. Once again, I just want to emphasize that because I do, I do want to enjoy it without being influenced by any particular thoughts. Um, and afterwards, I, I'll probably read the manga. I'm not sure if I'll do that live. It depends how thorough the season is with the adaption and the story. Um, but we'll see how things go. Okay. Thank you so much for watching with me and listening to my thoughts. I look forward to reading your first impression of the trailer. It looks like it's going to be well animated, very dramatic, like, but not melodramatic. Like, like there's going to be suspense. There's going to be drama. I, I have high expectations and I think they will attack on Titan. Um, I had high expectations of Attack on Titan going into it because it was one of the first pe things people told me to watch when I just started my channel. And um, I had high expectations going in and then Attack on Titan has always delivered on those expectations. So I I don't think my expectations are too high. It won't spoil. Like You know how sometimes you have high expectations of something and then it kind of doesn't deliver and you're like, ugh. <laughs> but Attack on Titan has never been that. So I'm positive and excited. I'll see you guys when it comes out. Bye.